So the rumor of the week, which has turned into so much more than just a rumor, has been that uh, Bob Myers and the Golden State Warriors are going to part ways. That has been the rumor that has been spreading like a PG in the wildfire. I'm just saying it's everywhere. Even Woj is talking about it on NBA pregame shows. And you all know once Woj starts talking about it, then it generally becomes a reality. We were going to go ahead and post um, uh, something that was um, up on the, the Athletic uh, a little bit earlier. Um, and it basically reads, Warriors and President of Basketball Operations Bob Myers have had no substantial contract extension talks in months. And the sides are bracing for the likelihood that Myers could walk away from the franchise, which was then, of course, followed up by a Draymond Green that sucks. Now, um, for those of you that don't know, Bob Myers has dipped his toes a little bit in podcasting um, over the past year and has expressed some interest in, in going into broadcasting at some point. Look, I'm not saying that's what Bob Myers is going to do. It just is one of the things that has been talked about a lot. All right, um, so we've got uh, two videos coming up for you on the House of Takes. We've got a Steve Kerr video, uh, which we're going to get to first. And then definitely stay tuned. I I've got a two-minute video of uh, Bob Myers at a analytics conference, um, which is just really worth watching. Uh, you should definitely stay tuned uh, to check that out. We'll, we'll play the uh, short Steve Kerr video and then go straight into uh, the analytics video, um, which gives you some great insight into how he thinks about the difference between the regular season and the postseason. A great thing uh, to watch for those basketball junkies out there uh, like me. Um, that being said, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the House of Takes yet, uh, please uh, go ahead and do that. And of course, like this video. All right, enough of the groveling to Steve Kerr we go. Steve, kind of along the lines of what you're talking about with looking ahead, what has working with Bob been to you over the years? And I guess, how would you gauge your optimism, optimistic level that you guys will continue to work together? Um, yeah, Bob. Bob and I have been uh, partners for nine years now, and um, he's an integral part of of everything that we do. and uh, And uh, I rely on him uh, for for a ton. So I I hope he's back. He's a great friend. He's a hell of a GM. Um, he's responsible for a lot of what has happened here. So hopefully he's back. But he has to um, figure that out. The playoffs are nothing like the regular season. They are two completely different sports. The way it's officiated, uh -huh. the, the way that he's playing 42 minutes uh, in the playoffs. I don't know what he averaged in the regular season when he was playing. So, so your bench is completely different in yeah. the regular season versus the playoffs. Uh, and you can prepare yeah. differently. Uh, you can prepare differently. You Absolutely. have more time. And you do prepare differently. <laughs> yeah. Not only can you, you do. And you better believe Paul listening to Doc as his coach in a regular season back-to-back -back game, he's going in the locker room. He's like, all right, who am I got? You know, in the playoffs, <laughs> he knows exactly what he's doing. Right. And by the way, in the playoffs, his first move is gone. It's like a baseball player that they say, well, here's our scouting report. He cannot hit a curveball away. Mm -hmm. He's getting a curveball away every single pitch. So if they say, Paul, take away his right hand, right hand drive, and the pick and roll are going to blitz. Whatever they know he does well is gone. Mm. So that's where you need to check as many boxes as you can. Even shooters, we played some great shooters in the playoffs and have neutralized them. Because if that's all you can do is shoot the three, then you're not, you're not necessarily the weapon that we sometimes make you out to be in the regular season. That two, in, two feet of space you had in the regular season is two inches. And you watch mm. how many players cannot make a shot in the playoffs and shoot 42% in the regular season. It's not the same thing. So why does that matter? The more dimensions you have to your game, the harder you are to take away. Shoot the three, get fouled, get to the free throw line, drive to the basket. Well, how am I gonna go, Paul, what, what should I have done against Paul Pierce? I'll let him shoot three, no. Um, get, let him go to the rim, no. Foul him, no. Um, keep him off the free throw. You, there, there's too many things he does, left, right, whatever. Oh, and by the way, let's pick on him defensively, no. That's what makes a Hall of Fame player. 
So you want as many of those guys as you can, so we can't get too caught up in like, let's have four shooters. Okay, well what if those guys can't do anything else, can't guard right. their position? So I think it's more than sometimes we make it out to be. And, and the people here I assume are basketball fans, you watch the playoffs, you'll know who can play basketball. That's when you evaluate players. Mm.